right, so Rarity's about to open her new boutique in Manhattan, and she's like, guys, don't worry about anything. Me and Coco are gonna rock this. Uh, then Coco shows up, and she's like, look, Rarity, we both know I have a problem, and uh, I can't do this anymore. And so Rarity's like, okay, guys, uh, Coco has to go away for a little while, so can you help me out right now? And they're like, dude, no problem. We got this. Then Rarity's landlord corners AJ, and he's like, uh, Miss Pomel was a business partner, if you understand me, and I'm in bad situation now. Uh, so you sell these 300 bills of pony ecstasy for me, or I kick your friend out of the building and sell my daughter into slavery. And AJ's like, uh, guys, we got a problem. So they're running around in a panic trying to set up a boutique and flip a bunch of happy pills, but at least Pinky finds this club upstairs and unloads like half of them on these chicks. Especially this one. Yeah, uh, you're not fooling anyone there, bro. Oh, and Vinyl's there, and Pinky's like, dude, do you just kind of, like, follow us around? And Vinyl's like, eh. Anyway, so the boutique is still a disaster, and the girls lock Rarity in the window display so she won't freak out, and so she can't be considered an accomplice. Dash is organizing potential employees from most to least angular. Uh, nobody knows what the fuck Twilight's doing, and Fluttershy is just sitting in the middle of the room, sobbing her eyes out and saying, I want to go home over and over again. Finally, AJ's like, guys, I think we're fucked. And Twilight's like, dude, give me one of those pills. And AJ's like, um what the fuck are you talking about? And Twy's like, I have a great idea, but we all need to be blasted off our asses for it to work. And Fluttershy's like, um, I'm not sure that's the hallmark of a great idea. And Twy's like, guys, there's no way we're gonna do this shit proper, so let's just do how we do and blow the lid off this bitch. And they're all like, you know what? Fucking A. Let's do it. So the girls throw on some Mac Dre, grab some juice, and work some pony thizzle magic. So, a couple hours later, Rarity finally escapes, and she's just like, oh my god, what the fuck is this? And Twy's like, dude, check it out. It's a boutique, a rave, and a bar, all in one. And Rare's like, this looks like it was designed by a bunch of people on drugs. And Twy's like, no. That's silly. And Pinky's like, those Skittles made me feel really neat. Anyway, despite the literal insanity, the customers have a great time, the girls hit their quota and save this chick from a life of prostitution, and everyone agrees that Rarity for You is the slappinest boutique in Manhattan. So Rarity goes off to the after party and the rest of the girls get arrested and taken to the police station, which is a Denny's. They explain exactly what happened because they're all still rolling like motherfuckers, but this is Equestria, so the cops just tell them to not do it again and let them go. So, it's a week later and Rarity's like, guys, I just read in the paper that my landlord in Manhattan got locked up for running some kind of drug racket. Do you know anything about that? And they're like, yeah, we sort of turned your boutique into a rave so we could flip some pills and stop him from selling his daughter's body. And Rarity's like, oh, well that's fucked. And they're like, don't worry, he's in prison and she's in therapy. And Rarity's like, you know, am I crazy or does it seem like this kind of thing wouldn't have happened to us a couple years ago? And they're like, yeah, don't think too hard about it. And Rarity's like, whatever, I still love you guys, even if you're all on drugs now. Get to the ground as I catch the bass Then I wipe all the sweat off me face Hop back up, then I start to slide Hop in my collar as I glide Then I 